my message today was clear. Uh, we all agree uh, that defense matters. We all want to see a strong, committed Europe able to play its part uh, in managing international crises. And we all want to make sure that European nations have the tools they need to make that happen. That means developing real military capabilities and those capabilities that our nations really need, observation drones, air-to-air -air refueling, heavy transport. And it means enabling a strong European industrial base. I welcome the increasing focus uh, by European nations on developing uh, these capabilities. And let me stress, it is not NATO or the European Union that possess these assets. These capabilities are owned by individual nations. This is not about creating a European army. It is about making sure that the countries of uh, Europe are strong and capable so that they can contribute to crisis management when they choose and how they choose, whether it be through the European Union, NATO, or any other way. Each country has only one set of forces and one set of taxpayers. Duplication is a luxury we cannot afford. So we need greater cooperation, coordination, and cohesion within Europe, across the Atlantic, and between the European Union and NATO. We must be sure that we continue to complement and reinforce each other. In concrete terms, we must work closely together in developing military capabilities and industrial standards, in coordinating our approaches to maritime security and cybersecurity, and in training exercises and defense capacity building for partners uh, that need our support. We must be smarter together and stronger together. And the time to act is now, because unless we Europeans take our security seriously, North Americans will rightly ask why they should. Unless we recommit to our own defense, we risk seeing America disengage and Europe and America drift apart. This is not what any of us would want, and it would benefit neither ourselves nor the rest of the world. So I welcome today's European Council. I welcome the recognition that defense matters, and I strongly hope that it will produce stronger and more capable European countries, because that would benefit us all.